Hi there, this is Matthew J. Peters. I am the CEO of Ascend Media, and tonight I'm gonna to be talking to you about how to close nearly 100% of your sales calls. How is that even possible? You know, people talk about 25%. I was just working with somebody that said 10% of their calls. What if you could get nearly 100%? There's a couple caveats I want to share with you here, but this technique was tried on me years ago, and I thought it was so brilliant that I changed my sales process to include this in the close. All right, so let's get into it. The thing you have to understand is you've done the marketing to attract the people. You've educated them on the value. They're right in front of you. Think of how much it costs you in your marketing, in your time, and all your efforts to get them to be on that call with you. Don't lose them. You want to keep them in your sales process until you get a yes or a no. And sometimes that no is just a no for now, and you need to know the difference between it not being a fit and a no for now, all right? But we're going to get into the closing and not the sales process. This is referring back to my 10x product ladder. I'm going to give you a resource at the end, but it's from my book, More Clients Today. Um, 47 free and cheap premium client sources and the simple strategies to get even more clients starting today. So there's 47 different ways to find clients for you. So always clearly communicate the result you bring in your marketing. So don't focus so much in your marketing on your product, your, your services that you're offering, but more on your result. You want your name and your face to be synonymous with the result you bring in people's lives. You want to get them to start understanding how you as a person or you as a company is going to have a positive effect in their lives and in their business. Confirm on the call that the prospect truly wants that result. You got to make sure that they're there for the right reason. If they're not, this does not work, right? So you need to make sure that the people are pre-qualified. They want the result that you bring. If that's a yes, this works. Your goal for them on the call is to get a yes or no decision. It is not to talk anybody into a yes. I'll have to tell you right now that I have talked a couple of people into a yes, and that was where they dropped off. They ghosted me. It was just, it was not cool and I never did it again. I had such a bad taste in my mouth um, about sales. So I did not do that again. It's more of the, at the end of the call, it's more of like, would you like me to talk you into it or talk you out of it? And literally that has been a conversation before. They said, I don't know what I do. And so some people will say, talk me into it. They want some more convincing. As the expert, you diagnose and prescribe them what specifically is going to be right for them. You don't want to have malpractice, right? You want to make sure that you listen to exactly what their needs are and then you deliver them exactly that. So here's what I like to match is the right prospect. You got to make sure they're there for the right reason. You can actually help them. The right product or service you offer or the event. The right price for them. Sometimes we push people into one way or the other and I've actually pushed people into a lower price when it wasn't necessary. And then the timing. Make sure the timing is right. But I want you to default to a primary offer. And I like a done with you. Sometimes that is you working with an individual, your company working with an individual to help them along in a process. Or this could be a small group setting. Sometimes this could be a, a small event. But I want you to think about anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000, somewhere in there, where after a phone call, people feel like they can make an educated decision. All right? So... This is after you've done your sales process. If they say yes, you say, fantastic, are you at your computer? Go to paymatthew.com and put in $2,000. So let them get to their computer, turn it on, they get to their browser, and mine, I just got a, a simple paymatthew.com. Very easy to understand. There's no trying to figure that out. It goes directly to PayPal. It says, what amount do you want to put in there? And sometimes you can do a deposit or you can do the full amount. If anybody ever says, can I just pay you the full amount now? Always say yes, because you don't know what financially is going to happen with them later. And you want to make sure you secure the funds in order for you to deliver your services the right way at the beginning, if it's possible. So let's say they pay the $2,000. And if they say, no, I'm not at my computer right now, you say, uh, do you prefer Visa, MasterCard, or Amex? And then they say, uh, Amex, awesome. Uh, would you read off that number for me? And I'm not going to go into all the details, but you're, you're seeing how you are prepared for the sale at all times. You make it super convenient for them. And if they say yes, don't say anything more. Something that Kevin Nations, one of my sales mentors, told me early on is, the more I talk, 
the less I make. So if you're on a sales call, your job is to diagnose and pull information out of them. So you're getting more and more information so you can start saying, you can start tailoring your conversation with them to make sure you're hitting the pain points. You're hitting those pain points for their benefit. They need to get to reality. If they aren't in reality, they're never gonna make the right decision for themselves. So this is where you can use the product ladder to go up or down. Now the downsell, you can see I started that primary. I can downsell to 200. Um, you could downsell to a, a $20 book if you have one or a, a, a video, or you can even go to your free stuff. Your upsell, $20,000. I'm going up increments of 10. That's at 10x value. So you can shift this around a little bit. If it's 3,000, then it's 15,000. Or if you're at 3,000, then it's um, 197 or $97. This is the, the general concept I want you to think of in, in a series of 10. So you have 200, 2,000, 20,000. All right, and I'll show you how this works. You're going to get three common other than yes responses. These are some basic ones. I'm sure there's others, but this is mostly regarding money. All right. Boy, this is a great offer, but I don't have the money. This is where even seasoned professionals screw up. They start thinking of how can I make the deal sweeter? Uh-uh. You need to first clarify. You say, you don't have the money? And you're quiet and you let them tell you what that means to them. Because that could be, yeah, actually I need to put it on two credit cards. Or yeah, actually I don't get paid until next Friday. Or yeah, I'd have to pull some money out of savings. You have no idea what that means. And I've actually not served a person and I saw the next week they went with somebody else because they told me they didn't have the money. It was because I didn't go into it and I said, well, you know, I've got this other thing that's lower. I screwed that one up. So I want you to make sure you have clarity on this. Guys, if you're selling even 100,000 plus more per month, this one right here, asking for clarity, what does that mean, is gonna make you a lot more money. Here's a response you could do. I know you really want, and then repeat from everything you've learned in that call, what their desired result is. Put it in their words, don't try to massage it into your program, but just pair it back to them what they said they wanted. If I can get you favorable financing, would you commit to a yes so we can get you started? And, and be okay with the, the pauses in the silence. Let them sit in it for a moment because no one's asking them the tough questions. That's why they're staying right where they're at. You want to inspire them to take an action on their own. So can I, you know, is, uh, can you, would you commit to a yes so we can get you started? Now the financing might take three or four days right? But in the, I'm getting you started, started with the financing, and then we're going to get, collect your information, your email and all that. This, so number two response is just, there's no way they can get the money now. The, you know, they can't get financing. They don't qualify and they don't have access to any money. So you could say, I understand I've been there too, or we've all been there, something along those lines. Are you still serious about getting that desired result? Their words, not yours. They have to say yes here. Because you're serious, let's do this. I'm going to enroll you in our whatever your do-it-yourself training is. That's good to get you started towards getting that desired result today. I can get you in at 200 bucks. Are you in front of your computer? Go to paymatthew.com. Wait for them to get there. And then they make that payment of $200. You say, fantastic, I've received it. When they make a payment online, you are there on your end to make sure that it's come through. If you have to go to a credit card, maybe it's not going to be as fast, but I want you to make sure you have the credit card information and you are able to move through everything you need there to move to get a yes and it is confirmed a payment. Don't count yeses before they're yeses, all right? From there, you're going to book a 15-minute follow-through check-in. Now, why would you do a follow-through check-in a week or so later? Because the $200 do-it-yourself is a diagnostic tool that helps them have some skin in the game. They're actually putting some money down. Get in the right frame of mind. So you're framing up the conversation. You're helping them understand what the reality of the situation is and they can see where they're really at. Wow, I didn't realize there was so much for me to learn or so much for me to do in order to get to that place. And then it also pays you for your time in that 15-minute follow-up sales call. So this is something that's a diagnostic tool. They're filling out a form. They have a couple videos in there. And from that, you now see that form. You can ask them 
more questions that are going to help you make that sale on that second call. Whatever the $200 or whatever it is, you can say, tell you what, I'll even put that towards the $2,000 program. So it's $1,800. You can break it up into three payments, however you want to do it. But what I want to just get you to the point is don't let people go because they tell you they don't have the money. You don't know the whole situation. Now, this is a third way that people can respond. This is great, but can you just do it for me? You know, I, I saw you speak on stage at that event. Um, I saw you present everything. That's great. Can you, do you have like a team that does that stuff? Absolutely. Our team can take care of everything. The done for you program is only 20,000 bucks. Like I said, there's no trial and error. We know what we're doing. Some people you're going to be talking to, if you don't have something at that level, they don't want a do it yourself. They don't want a done for you. They just are uh, done with you. They want a done for you. They want to hire the expert so they can take their time to do other things in your business. If you don't have this as, a, as an option, you're missing out. And think, this is a 20000 let's say 25000 or 35000 I want you to also think of what is beyond that. That will really stretch your mind in thinking of value and not stuff. All right, and I talked about this in the last episode here that you're not going to be selling the stuff, all the little things that they get. You want to focus on the results that you bring. I want you to remember that you've done the marketing to attract them. You've educated them in your value. Keep them in your sales process, in your sales pipeline. That's why when you downsell, you want to have that follow-up call because it gives you another opportunity after they've been educated even further in your process where they're at and how important it is for them to get out of that place they're stuck in. And guess what? Now they're happy to be on that call with you and they're going to do everything possible to make that a sale or say yes. They're going to do everything they can to say yes. So if you want to get the 10X product ladder, you can either get the, get the book More Clients Today on Amazon or you can get the free training and other trainings like it at ascendmedia.com forward slash free. That's ascend, A-S-Y-N-D, media dot com forward slash free ascend a s y n d is for authority syndication if you're wondering so we help coaches consultants and entrepreneurs expand their reach and elevate their presence with minimal time and effort on their part we know how experts are busy building their business they don't want to learn how to edit video they don't want to learn how to do lighting and micing. you know what they just want us to do it all for them we either have we either shoot 50 to 70 videos in a day and it takes care of all of their online marketing, they can also turn that into a, a good reading book, all right? Not just like video one is chapter one, video two is chapter two. I don't do that. Um, and then also having a magazine, print and digital. This allows you to have all of your organic marketing done in a single day. So if you want to run ads, you can use some of the videos for the ads. We're going to pull all kinds of video clips from that. We're going to have images for your image posts we our goal is to make you look amazing across every platform so you are everywhere anywhere people can find you you are there you have a presence so we also make sure our clients have their offers and their product ladders solid if we do all of the marketing right and your product ladders or your conversation around them isn't right then we have some problems that's why before we even turn the cameras on, we meet with you. We want to know more about your business and what these videos and other media can do for you over the course of the next year, two, three, and five years. Matter of fact, we just had somebody last year reach out to us. They said five years after doing this process, those videos are still bringing them clients. This is the best business decision they've ever made. And they're a business coach. All right, that says a lot for this process. So I want to leave you with that and schedule a call with me at ascendmedia.com forward slash call. That's ascend, A-S-Y-N-D, media.com forward slash call. Thanks so much for being on and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.